Demi tope e luye mi balugu. Is this how to do activism? Is this how to do activism? A person known for activism will come and tell a brood they lie. You are an activist and you are equally a liar. A liar from the pit of hell. Coming to say that Apostle Ken Wakama was arrested by the EFCC while he was not. I like Apostle Ken's response today. Apostle Ken is not my friend, but what he did today, I like it. I like it. He came up and gave a VN which has silenced everybody. I wouldn't like a situation whereby if somebody is accused, a full soldier will come up to defend that person when that person has not died and when that person is not indisposed. You have your mouth. You come and clear yourself. Apostle came, came out and put this woman to silence. Can somebody give a VN when he is in EFCC custody? No. So this has shown the whole world that the metope Eluemi Balugu is a liar. And she can never succeed in her mission. If not for a meeting, for insulting me, and he was proud, he can never, she can never end well. Temi Tokpe Eloemi Balugu can never end well. She behaved like an abiru by insulting an elder. He said, I cannot give birth to her. What do I have with her to give birth to her? But whether she likes it or not, I am an elder. If she does not respect me, no problem. God will equally raise people to give her the insults she gave me. But one thing that I would like to draw her attention to is, in my language, they call something Ibegu. Ibegu emume. Do you know what it means? He say ancestors, because Elie Mibarigo does not believe in God. And uh, as such, you speak the language that somebody believes in. If I am permitted to talk, I will say Elie Mibarigo is a traditionalist. And as a traditionalist, you are connected with the ancestors. You worship the ancestors. There are some things you do this, okay? Your ancestors has, have uh, caught you. So with this one now, that Temitope Eloemi Balogun has come to say today, the ancestors have caught her. The law of karma and nemesis have barbed her. Yes, the law of karma and nemesis have barbed Eliemi Balugu, who is not righteous, and she 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 wants to tell people that she is righteous. You said Ken Wakama was arrested, whereas it was a lie from the pit of hell. Somebody who is leading the vanguard of activism who betides people that are in her camp. Who betides people that are still 
in her camp. And of course, I know some people will still be in her camp because we have a lot of gullibus in the Nigerian grant ecosystem. Even when they are seen some turn round, point blank, they will still be heading for it. They will still be heading for it. When a Luyemi Balogun has come up and told a broad day lie, a broad day lie, does that person defeat somebody who will lead in the vanguard of activism? How will she win? She came up and she said that the CDHR will write a letter to the presidency to verify or to investigate whether Ken's mandate paper was with them. While we were waiting, he said, okay, she does not trust the CDHR again that she was going to lead a protest. And while we were waiting for the protest, a news came that Ken Wankama had been arrested. You dropped a petition at the CDHR and the EFCC will go and make the arrest. Yeah, if the EFCC would make an arrest, is it not at the EFCC that you are supposed to drop the petition? Your illiteracy is too much. Tell me, Tokwe, Eluemi Balugu. You drop yes, uh, you drop petition at CDHR and the arrest is made by the EFCC. You think the EFCC have the kind of brain that you have? Or did the CDHR tell you that they have transferred the petition to EFCC? Even if it is true that Ken Wakama was arrested, before you made that announcement, you should sit behind and think back and forth. You say you will not take advice from me. Fine. There's no problem. But who are those advising you? Or oh, nobody is advising you at all. If nobody is advising you, then woe betides you. You will fall into the ditch. I bet you. Because you have no gray matter to be able to pursue this case. The case you are pursuing is a germane case, but in the hand of an impotent folk, in the hand of an ignorant person, in the hand of an illiterate person, is in the hand of somebody that is not informed. That is what I keep saying. If you want to find out the truth, it's a good thing. But before you find out the truth, you must be intelligent. You must be informed. You must stoop low to accept people to help you. Nobody helps you. You are alone in this storm. How can you succeed? You dropped a petition as CDHR and the ESCC is going to make an arrest. When did you tell us that you went to the ESCC? You think ESCC, they don't have brain? They will just be, be jumping into things like that? You have never told us that. The ESCC uh, have received your petition. Your petition is with CDHR and the ESCC will go and make an arrest. You have a rotten brain. The earlier you recognize yourself, and locate yourself at your level, the better for you. If not, so many woes are coming your way. So many woes are coming your way. The CDHR is writing later to the presidency, uh -huh. and you were waiting for their reply. Why waiting for their reply? You wanted to go and stage a protest. <laughs> Why wanting to go and stage the protest? EFCC has arrested Ken Wakama. Who will you deceive? It's not everybody's brain that is like your brain. I won't engage you in a battle. Nemesis will catch up with you. You came up and you started insulting me. 
and you were boastful about it, you will begin to collect one after the other. I'm not, I, I won't engage you because you are by far too small for me. You know that. But because you have put your hand into the guillotine, you have touched the tiger's tail, you will begin to collect the repercussion one after the other. Just like you have gotten today. And what has happened today, do you know how many followers you have lost? You will continue to lose them until it remains you alone. Because people know that there is no word of truth in your mouth.